Hello folks, welcome back to the Friday Lego Let's Chat, and of course, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joel Duggan, and we are hanging out here on a Lego Friday to work on the West Hill Main Gate, which is a my own creation, uh, a mock from Grandpa Crafter, who sent this in as a lovely gift, and we are here. And I haven't poked ahead to see where we're going, so this will be an adventure today for me too. Hope everyone's having a good Friday so far. Mind Trip Media with 200 bits kicking off the stream. Thank you so much. Cosmic Dancer gifting a tier one sub to Elkhorn95. What a great way to start the stream. Thanks ever so much, folks. Blast Jordan is also here. Grandpa Crafter, of course, in the chat. Debogged, welcome back. Can everybody hear me okay? Is the music balanced? Can you hear it? I've switched over to using the Apple Music app as opposed to iTunes. Uh, this is Archway completed. So now we're on to the South Tower. What's it called? Brooch Spire. It's a brooch spire, really? I didn't know that's what it was called. 110. We've got... 7.1 and 7.2 for pick lists. I need to put this somewhere. Okay. You and the music sound fine. Thank you for the feedback, Grandpa Crafter. For these guys. Three, four. That's the full sixteen of those. Real Y Jan, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Friday. Last Jordan says the Taiwan internship is going well. Good stuff. Glad you didn't get detained or delayed at the airport. Always nice. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Okay. Now. Didn't mean to bang the mic. Things might look a little bit different. I had to move this table when I had my windows replaced the other day. So when I moved it back, the camera, I think, ends up being a little bit higher. I mean, the good news is you probably can see more, but hopefully everything is still in focus. Rock Giant can't stay, but thought I'd stop in and say hi. Well, hi back. Enjoy your rest of your Friday. Just one of those. Now, I did not see one little plate. Might be in here. No. We do have some small bags. Yep, there it is there. Uh, 
Man, the people at these secondary or secondhand brick shops that actually pick the stuff, they must have the tiniest hands. What we need for those anyway. Might as well leave those out. Anything else in here? No. Super fast, good to see you. I need to raise my mic here. I keep on banging it with my hand. Uh, I saw those a second ago, yes. Twenty four, they say. Yeah, I feel like the camera angle is a little bit wonky. I feel like this feels not straight. I feel like it's a little bit angled towards me, maybe. Like when you guys look at that, can you see that side of it? Probably not. Well... A lot of these tracks in the Minecraft soundtrack I've never heard. And that's 24. <clears throat> Where did I see those little ones? For those, Some of the Minecraft soundtrack sounds a lot like some of the other indie games I've played, like Ori in the Blind Forest. Specifically the newer Minecraft stuff. Maybe not the older stuff. Sorry, lurking. A lot of commands are set to VIP or mod only. Um, that's by design. We just find that we have people spam them when they're not set to VIP.
I mean, you're a mod, so you should still have access to everything, right? Six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Twelve. But we need thirteen. That's all the white pieces done except for that one plate. And I don't see it. Someone was asking why a command wasn't working. Oh, I see. So it wasn't addressed to me. Makes sense. I guess the set command is something we could make available to everybody, or followers at least, maybe. I really don't know where this is going to be. Yeah, I don't have a 13th white plate. I'm not sure if there's an alternative that I could use, Grandpa Crafter. Maybe I will be able to find a spot during the build and just skip one.
Or maybe later on I could use two of those. I don't know. All right, mental note, we've got 12 of those instead of 13. And these are all, all brown and no red brown. Where did I put pink in this? <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. There's the pink ones. White plates will go on windowsill, so you should be able to skip it and fill it later. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh, bup, 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 bup. <clears throat> Brown. Try to trying to use more of the tabletop this time around. I think what I'll do is I'll probably pick both lists depending on the size. Can go. Where did I? That's eight there. Yeah, I'll pick both, okay. Stay over here. There, there. There's four, eight, and then eight of these.
Dan, thanks for the lurk. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. What if this will work? <clears throat> two four six eight two four six eight two four six eight too many twenty four of these little guys assuming it's most of the bag two Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And one extra. I'll double check. Four, six, eight, and twelve. Two, four. Eight, ten, twelve. No, that's twenty-four. Twenty-four and <clears throat> four of these. And that's four by two, four, six. Yep. That's one, two, three, four, ten. And then a big square one. This one. Six by six. Cool. No problem, Grandpa Crafter. No problem. All right. So that, I believe, is 7.1. But then 7.2, it's going to add a lot more brown. Red, 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 red. All right, we're going to lay out 7.1 first, and then we'll pick 7.2, just so that I can have some space. And not confuse all the brown. Seeing as the white is already up there, let's just start there.
Sometimes I wish that uh, it was easier to stream Minecraft with the music going. I find it both increases like the mood and stuff, but also distracting. Because in Minecraft, it just it kind of plays the same few tracks when you're in an area, so you don't get the whole experience. And where I hang out in West Hill, which is mostly plains, sunflower plains, rivers, and a little bit of taiga, we'd be hearing the same tracks over and over again. Got a weird bubble in my mat that I can't get rid of. I have to detach the lights. I tried to clear off all the dust, but missed some, obviously. The uh, the workmen were really good about cleaning up after themselves. Actually, it wasn't it wasn't too bad, but the kind of thing where when that stuff happens, it just it kind of gets this teeny tiny little film of dust on absolutely everything. I covered up most of the things in the studio with blankets, but. Still a little bit cut around. So does anybody have any big plans this weekend? I'm looking forward to some chill time on Saturday after all the podcasting stuff. We've got a bonus podcast for the Spontrunks patrons first thing on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. Doing the Minecraft Hangout where we talk with our patrons about what they've been building in Minecraft with screenshots and stuff. And then 1 o'clock, of course, my regular stream. We'll be back in West Hill working on what's next in West Hill. Actually, you know, we might actually, we might be, there's a chance that I might be updating to 1.21 before Saturday. I kind of hope I can. I've got the ability to finish the data pack. It's just going to take a long time. And then I need to sort out what I'm going to be doing about the tables and chairs. Because that is, I think I just need to bite the bullet, choose a mod that replaces it well, and go from there. So if anybody has a mod that does tables and chairs, rustic and modern, let me know if you know of one. I don't need all kinds of bells and whistles. I don't need light bulbs and stuff. I'm really tempted just to kind of make my own, but a lot of 
an uphill upstream battle. I'd like to have that finished sooner than later. The problem, of course, is that I'm going to have to go around and remember where all of the tables and chairs are. Unless without the data pack, they'll still stay there, but I don't know. Without the data pack or the texture pack, the tables and chairs data pack, just, they just show up as trapdoors. I don't normally go right to left. It feels weird. Maybe we won't put those there. Oh, they almost fit. Maybe if I squish these up, we'll get them to line up. Close enough. weird when you're looking really far over to one side or the other it becomes very difficult to put things in a straight line <clears throat> thanks to the mod squad for being awesome as always
I don't know what I'm doing on Sunday. Imagine cooking. Maybe going to the gym. We've got uh, bonus podcasts for the Spawn Chunks the next two weekends. So this weekend, as I mentioned, is the monthly Minecraft hangout for our patrons. But then after that, we've got uh, the following weekend is the quarterly hangout. And that's where Johnny and I go over the uh, facts and figures of the podcast. Download numbers. We'll have new video metrics for the um, the new video version. So that'll be fun. That's been up for about a week now. Or not a week, a month. Granted, we haven't had videos each time because when Johnny was away, I couldn't do videos. I'm guessing that these are probably fence post. They represent. Just when you think you've had it hard with small Lego pieces, Lego makes small round Lego pieces. Although I have to say, I always liked these kind of pieces when I was a kid. They always ended up being something cool. I think in one of the pirate ships I have, they were actually cannonballs. Like, you'd have little black ones, and they shot out of a spring-loaded cannon. Oops. Out of Curiosity asks Blast Jordan, what is the most ludicrous in terms of size Lego set you have ever owned? Uh, the biggest one. It's either the motorized lighthouse. Or this, well, I don't know. I think it might be a three-way tie. I think it's the... Um, the Space Shuttle Discovery, the TIE Fighter, sorry, the TIE Interceptor that we just finished a month or so ago, and the X-Wing. The TIE Fighter and the X-Wing are nearly two feet wide. Like, they're both giant, giant builds. Those are the UCS collector's ones. You know what, though? Ecto-1 is pretty big, too. Elkhorn, thank you for being awesome. So that is 7.1. Now we go into 7.2. Not gonna have any place to move.
Well, maybe it's not in here. Light gray and dark bluish gray. There's the dark bluish gray. Those are light bluish gray. So then it's just reddish brown all the way down. Thanks, Elkhorn. Appreciate it. I think before I get into this, second bag of stuff i'm going to take my first break i know it's just a little bit before the hour but if you're new to the chat uh, i do take a break once an hour it gives me a chance to grab some more water and uh gives you a chance to maybe even tell a friend that we're doing some lego live so give me uh, five or six minutes folks i will be right back
Unfortunately, sometimes with the Minecraft soundtrack, there's just nothing playing. And uh, it's hard to hear because it's a super quiet track or something like that. So, a little inconsistent. Another reason why I don't use it when I'm streaming Minecraft. The game. All right, let's start with some of these bigger counts. Twenty seven. All right, uh, three of those. I had a spinach and cheese quesadilla for lunch. Speaking of lunch, Obu. I thought it was going to work <clears throat> in the air fryer, and it really did not work all that well. I had to finish it off in the oven. By six, two, four, six, eight, ten. the wrong ones or six two of those two of those two four six eight ten <clears throat> no one complains about brunch. I like I like brunch for lunch. I'll eat brunch anytime before three. Breakfast food is my favorite. A really good friend of mine was in town a couple weeks ago. And we did brunch two days in a row and it was amazing. <laughs> such a good, good visit, but just such good food too.
I think something that's nice about brunch as well is like if you're hanging out with somebody and you're catching up, they don't tend to rush you. Brunch seems to be a pretty relaxed sit down, you know? got 10 of those I think what are these two four six eight and five of these That's what I was looking for. These ones. Have to be careful not to confuse that with the other brown. Okay, I think the only thing I'm missing are the big plates now. And that's six by two, four, six, eight, ten, and two, four, six, ten. Two by ten and six by ten. Thirteen. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And the plates. It's funny, they look a lot bigger in the picture. All right. <clears throat> Quick double check. Two of those, ten of those, twenty seven two by fours, three two by sixes, two one by six, four one by four, two one by six, one two by two, six two by four, ten. Two by sixes, five two by eights, two six by tens, thirteen two by tens, and four one by ten. One little, I don't know what you call that, flagpole? And then that, that, two of those. Okay. Not sure where it's all going to fit. Hmm. Put you right there.
Those almost look like the wrong color. They are. I think those were supposed to be regular brown. Hold on. These two browns are so close. There's supposed to be 13 of those, not two. So, two mistakes. Glad I caught that. Found him. Hold your horses. Margot Pebble, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Man, it's uh, we're in the middle of another humid heat wave here in Nova Scotia. It feels like 38 degrees outside today. So I've had the air conditioner on for the last 48 hours almost nonstop. And it's <clears throat> starting to feel pretty dry in here despite the fact that I... I drink water all the time. I'm usually really good about staying on top of that, but I find that when I'm streaming and talking a lot, I notice I notice the, the shift. Let's maybe move some stuff. I do want to use plates, I think, to kind of separate these two different color browns best I can, anyway.
38 degrees. Taiwan also has been hitting its fair share of heat as well. Looks like I have to spend most of the day out tomorrow as the power in the building is being cut for the daytime. Ooh. Uh, Margo Pebble, we are working on a custom Lego set, a my own creation from community member Grandpa Crafter. They took the time to design a Minecraft build that I made in my medieval town of West Hill. It's the main gate of the town and Grandpa Crafter designed it in Lego and then picked the pieces and had it all shipped. Uh, we normally do Lego on Fridays and very often it's like Star Wars Lego or an official Lego set, but this was such a cool gift. We decided to do this on stream as well. And to try and I guess get more out of the building experience i knoll out the pieces it's added quite a lot of time to this build um it helps with the lego kits because the the kits from officially you know the the lego site um they can go to better together pretty quick because everything's all separated in the bags um, but here we've got to kind of like pick the pieces first and then knoll them out so it's it's taking longer However, it's a very dense set, so uh, I'm glad that doing it this way. And it's totally crooked uh, because it means that I can catch potential mistakes. Sometimes the spacing works out nicely. Not always the case.
now we get to actually put something together. How did you find the stream, Margo? Was it just random on Twitch? All right, so there's one little piece. I guess. Leave that for the, the satisfaction of seeing it all ready to go, right? <laughs> that only took an hour and 20 minutes. This is where you put that little upside down emoji. <laughs> and grab the full piece here. It'd be hard to see, but this, oh, bang in the mic. Sorry about that. This piece goes right there. I'm going to move the instructions and I'm going to put the build a little bit closer. So we're using four of these. Can't tell if you can see that or not. Just barely. Definitely nice and sturdy. Got wrong. It's a nice chill track. Oh, now we have these eight little one by ones, of course. Put those in the middle. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where does eight go? Uh, oh, I have this in the wrong spot. Cool. Four brown and four gray. must be the windows or something. And it looks like we just do the exact same thing again. Ta-da! 
Take it easy, Jordan. Appreciate you coming by. Hope you have a good day. <clears throat> this takes me back. This is the the OG Minecraft soundtrack. Now this is not one of my favorites. It won't let me skip tracks. Now we have same thing again with four of these. And for those. Four big square plates. These are six by six. And they line up with the little gray pieces. Like that. There and there. And now we're going to be getting some height. I guess I should start at the front. First phase of the tower. Uh, how long, how far along are you on this set now? Um, we are not even halfway. Just by looking at the, by looking at the image and by looking at um, <clears throat> the, uh, the density 
of the design. I don't think we're I don't think we're quite quite halfway. All right, <clears throat> eight of these. Oops. I keep on looking at the wrong image. One twenty two. Twenty three. Or these little white ones. So these are the window sills. I think this is what Grandpa Crafter was talking about earlier. And then these are trapdoors. Or at least that's how I would have designed it in my world. I think I'm shaking the table and shaking the lamp. The camera's on a separate desk, so the camera shouldn't shake, but if you see any shaking, it's just the lamp moving. So this is where we're short one of these, and it might be a problem. Oh, that one's yellow. Ugh. Put the yellow piece on the inside. Sixteen and sixteen, so I guess we'll just take right from there. And they are stacked back and forth. So it'd be interesting to figure it out.
That's two layers. Three layers and a fourth layer looks like that. So whatever the top layer is, that's the opposite of the bottom layer, okay. So if this is the top layer, then this is the bottom. Got a brick there. Some of these white pieces have seen better days. Okay, that's that. It is always fun when you get into some vertical changes in your Lego designs. I remember that with the lighthouse. The lighthouse, when the lighthouse started to go up, started to go vertical, it really started to get fun. Right. Looks like we have to move this aside. Just so you can see kind of where we are. Added the tower, or the start of the tower. Pieces keep coming off. <clears throat> I'm guessing these are the red brown ones. They must be. Not specified anywhere, I don't think. No. That goes like that. This just floats in space, I guess. Nine. That goes there. This goes there. And then what?
Just have to wait to attach that piece to something, I guess. What? How is that supposed to attach to anything? <clears throat> Two, four, six, eight, ten. So this is where it'll get an attachment, I guess. No, how does that? There we go. Oh, did I do this wrong? There we go. Word Nerdify, hello, hello. Welcome in. She's dense, that's for sure. Or those I have. Uh, or those. Yeah, because that's going to go down and for the. And then this gets flips upside down. Are they supposed to be on the same level? Because they won't be. Yeah, there's nothing. 
There's nothing underneath these. I guess I'll have to put them on later. Messed up that last piece. Flip her back over. Ink for spacing, I guess. So this is where the tricky slopes of Minecraft roofs probably become even trickier when doing Lego. Has anybody in the chat built any of the um, the Minecraft Lego? Like the official licensed stuff? The crafting table set looks interesting. I haven't looked at any of the play sets. I think the only one that Johnny and I really thought was inter like cute was the... Um, the fox house build because it looks like the little arctic not the arctic fox looks like the red fox I think I've mentioned this every time we do it on stream, but working with these two by four full-size bricks totally reminds me of Lego from my childhood. Crosshatch says, I got one about five years ago to see how they were or felt like it wasn't quite accurate to the game. Well, no, because Minecraft blocks are square and these are not full cubes. These are squat. They're They're square that way, but they're not... They're not as tall as they are wide. A lot of plate stacking in this particular section of the build.
Yeah, the thing about the Minecraft ones that are licensed, I find that the, the block count is pretty low. So for the price, you're really not getting that much of a building experience, which is weird, considering that obviously Minecraft is such a building-focused game, right? All right, so now we do a set of these all in one. Starts with the corner. Uh, I don't know how. There has to be more than just two of those. Yeah, that should have been two steps. So that goes there, and this goes here. Oh, I see. There's supposed to be one flat in here, I guess. There's four. Yeah, okay. And this goes like this. Surprise that the middle is filled in. Okay, like that. And then one of these goes across the top. Pretty accurate for how it's built in Minecraft, gotta say. In terms of the shape. I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is meant to go across this way. Four of these stacked together. And that goes there there and then these two little guys go on the edge yeah like really accurate you can see the shape I really wish Minecraft had horizontal flags I think that would make a big difference Uh, six of these together and you make that four times, okay. I'd be really curious to see a really large mock for Minecraft. I remember 
There was some guy on YouTube I used to follow. Two, three, four, five, six. And he had, had a, he had a whole table of Lego. And we had a whole room for Lego, really. But the tabletop was really cool because underneath the table, what he had done was he put together like a Minecraft version of the nether. And uh, he used a lot of the Minecraft blocks and stuff. It was, it was cool looking. He had like, the cool thing about it is he had like pink and, and magenta and red LEDs so like the lava was glowing and it was it was really cool I still haven't managed to get into the LEDs for Lego I have some but I just not pulled the trigger they look very complicated I think part of the other thing is that you got to take your builds apart to put them in Right, those are together. I go underneath on here. Imagine this is going to be pretty tricky. And that goes into there. But I've not used... Oh, that goes out front. That I can put together. I don't know if that was supposed to be blue-gray or gray. I'll check that. Light bluish gray times one. Okay. Just making sure. And this is all going to be like a little pile of rocks, I guess, out front. That. I like it. Now this is going to need these in the windows, but I don't know what they're going to attach to because they're not, there's nothing to attach them to here. They're going to be at a different level, which I don't know whether that was the intention. That's where they go, but they're now at a different level than the other windows. And I don't know if that's meant to be. Yeah, there's no spare pieces, so yeah. All right, we'll just see how it goes, I guess. Now, I don't know which way this goes. I'll just check the image as best I can. This way, I would say. That looks like it might be one piece that's the wrong color brown. All right, so this is going to go on the... Oh, they go on the outside. Okay, cool. I 
hitting all kinds of stuff on the way down. Let's, yeah. Put these on first. Just does not want to fit on. Snug. I got it. It's on there. I don't know if it's actually attached. It's not moving. Yeah, those don't actually touch. All right, folks, that is going to be the end of today's Lego stream. Maybe it's a little bit hard to see. I will turn it on its side, but you can get a good idea about how tall it's going to be. My camera is a good two feet off the desk, and this is coming up about six inches shy of the camera. But that is what it looks like now. Very fun. I think I can actually leave that just like that. Yeah, very, very cool. Folks, if you'd like to uh, follow me here on Twitch, if you haven't already, I would very much appreciate it. You can also check out Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. That's where I put the videos of all these Lego builds when I finish them up, along with all of my other streams, uh, Minecraft and other things. Looking forward to playing some Satisfactory come September when that game gets its full release. You can listen to the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. Spawn Chunks now has a video component, so if you'd like to watch Johnny and I talk about Minecraft news and what we've been up to in the game, then you can do that there. And last but not least, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. It's one of the best ways to support me and the things that I do online. I truly appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for the bits, for the subs, for hanging out this afternoon. It was a nice chill day. And I will see you back here again tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus 4 hours for Minecraft. Bye for now.